watching Chris 6 News at 5. Imagine losing one of your most prized possessions. This was the case of Emily Dickerson, but the one thing she never lost was hope. It's irreplaceable. There's no way to, there's no way to replace it. It's, it's one of a kind. Dickerson's dad passed away when she was very young. The only memory she had left of him was a cremation ring. But especially this one, this is like what I have. So my dad's with me all the time, no matter what. Dickerson, visiting from Iowa, was in town on a school trip. Her and her classmates spent part of the day at McGee Beach, when suddenly she realized she had misplaced her ring, along with three others that held sentimental value. And then it kind of like hit me, the realization like, oh my gosh, I misplaced these. I don't know what I did. Um, and then I realized where um, I had left them. And I was in like a complete utter panic. I ran to the bathroom, called my mom. I was like, this is the situation. I don't know what to do. I was in tears. I was a mess. Dickerson's mom, Tina Koch, immediately called the city's Parks and Recs Department to try to see if they could possibly find it. And what seemed as something impossible. I, I was surprised she even called me and I'm, I answered her question. She wanted a description of the ring and then she told me she had it. And I, I had no words. I just instantly started crying. Three days later, after digging through the trash, Parks and Recs found all four rings. Do you guys ever imagine finding back the ring? No, I was in complete shock when she told me, to be honest. Dickerson and her mom say it's inspiring to still find hope in humanity. Um, they didn't really completely know the story behind the rings either. They just got them knowing $5 ring, $500 ring, you know, like they still went above and beyond to do that. And Koch says she believes the ring was meant to find its way back to her. Like a ne finding a needle in a haystack. Um, mm -hmm. This is, you know, I'm a true, um, anybody who believes in a higher power that uh, Emily definitely had a.